All right. Hey, everybody. I'm here at the Condor Experience, which really does feel like an experience. Yeah. It feels like the show. I have seen the first episode. Mm. So. Did you like it? I did like it. I'm probably going to have nightmares about, you know, getting a disease with no cure. Okay. And maybe getting shot at. Although I did decide that maybe I'd prefer to get shot at. Why not? Than get the virus quicker. I suppose. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no. I'd, I'd go <laughs> what do the, you think? I'd go with the bullet, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to go that way, but... No, but you, you nothing's going to gonna happen. happen. <laughs> You're fine. It's only a TV show, but you know. It's not real. I know. It's not. I'm In glad. In spite of all of this. this and is, it feels real. It made me wonder where they came this, up with those this ideas. This is the CIA. I'm glad. We're in Austin. Well, this is true. Okay, good. And I did grow up here, so I'm familiar okay, that, good, that good, it is right. just Austin. Mm -hmm. Not that afraid. Good. <laughs> glad to hear that. Um, tell me about preparing for a part like this where you play a programmer and are trying to save the world. Well, obviously, I, I mastered computer code and coding and that sort of thing. Uh, no, um, I read various books on the CIA and what they've been doing for the past 75 years. Uh, what else? Um, we learned uh, to handle weaponry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did gun training in oh. production. Which I have to say, you were intimidatingly... Me? ...comfortable with, whereas I was sweating profusely well. when I was given the tiniest handgun. <laughs> Really? Really? I was terrified. Uh, I grew up here in Texas, so uh, <laughs> I handled the weapon. But <laughs> not, not me. Not you. Not at all. But you yeah. took to it. Well, I had to. You had to. I had job. I mean, at the beginning, I was really nervous. I did not ever imagine myself holding a gun. But um, it's a bit scary, to be honest. That you feel a bit of uh, excitement when you hold a gun. See, that that's why like... they cast her as a <laughs> psychopathic killer, and me as a guy. <laughs> Constantly runs away and hides under the table. Well, I had to kind of, you know, go into my Joubert kind of mood so I can be comfortable with the gun because that's a plus. If you're, because mm -hmm. it's my, I think at some point, like the only thing that I trust is my gun. Mm -hmm. So, because um, I'm good at it and I'm, you know, so I just the gun is like my best friend. So I had to get comfortable with it. So, yeah. Well, I let myself enjoy it. You know, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Whereas the guns make you run a marathon. Yeah, I, I run a lot. <laughs> I, I run and hide. They're my skills, running and hiding. That's okay. I've always thought that I could maybe run a marathon if someone was chasing me with a knife or a gun. Might be the only way. You could. I don't know. Yeah, that you're not like I like these things that you think about. <laughs> Do yeah, you? Yeah, I think it's interesting. It's a good question. Well, I mean, I could ask you pat questions, I guess. You know, what's your favorite part? But it's more fun to just talk that about. That is true. But I think, you know, that's what, we're, what, what Joe Turner is actually exploring, is, mm. it, is what would you do? That's what's so good about the show. You know, you, we all have our values, our principles, mm -hmm. uh, where we stand politically. And then what this show explores, and I think makes the audience question, is, is Two years ago, how those values and principles three employees at likely terrorist are affected uh, by reality. You know, if you are being pursued, if you have to kill someone in order to save ten people, Lives, would you do it or do you stand hard on your principles? Mm -hmm. uh, and what are we willing to sacrifice for safety? Precisely. I kind of wondered when we were watch when I was watching mm -hmm. it, I was like, you know, what's worth what's the cost worth? And not only what safety, are we willing to give up? You know, we yeah. we have cheap gas in our cars, we, mm -hmm. we have cheap clothing, we have cheap available mm -hmm. food year round. What do we what truths do we not look at in mm -hmm. order to have those luxuries? Yeah. You know? This is true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it yep. does explore all that. Tell me about being a killer. <laughs> it's really great because I think a lot of um, like a lot of the scenes, like every scene is completely different than the other when I'm when I'm playing Joubert, and it's like every time I'm excited to see what she'll pull up up her sleeves, mm -hmm. and it's honestly it's she's so unexpected that I loved exploring her, and I felt that um, I hope that I did it well. That it looked natural. Um, what I saw of you looked natural, but I only saw the first episode, the so thing, I haven't seen you do too much yet. Yeah, but the thing is, oh, she more more the thing why it made it look natural Good. is I have a, a rest bitch face. That's not mine. Oh, <laughs> I do. Let me see it. Rest. Let's see it. Oh, I can do it now. No, like. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay. I'm That's very my scared. Bitch face. But I, I'm actually relaxed. Uh, okay, I'm not no. thinking of anything. I'm just relaxed. <laughs> but that's my face, so I think. <laughs> so I think it just kind it of blends helped. Well, it helped a lot. 
you know, if you have a good resting bitch mm-hmm. face, it sometimes yeah. you just gotta put everything to good work. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. use what you've got. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's really something. Yeah. <laughs> well, I cannot wait to watch the rest of the show, and you know, feel tired while I watch it. But I did really enjoy it. There right. are bits where people are staying still. There are. There are. Yeah, and, and disgusting things. And hopefully, mm. hopefully, <laughs> it's things. all made in, you know, a fictional place. We'll see. And that's what I'm going to tell myself. Yeah, yeah. None of there's it's not real. biological mm-hmm. weapons. But I love how invested you are. In yeah. This, this oh, do you? Well, when I, when I watch, I watch. That's great. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> I don't come talk to people about something I haven't seen. You know, seen. one of those people mm-hmm. who's on their phone, on the other hand, you know, Googling things. As no. You're I actually watched it while I was eating dinner tonight. By myself. <laughs> That's good. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. That's great. Anyway, well, thanks for having me. Ah, oh, thank and you for having us. I can't wait to come to your experience. All right. I guess we'll start it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, y'all. Thank, thank you. you. So, are you going to uh, loop in a tune in?